can RV passengers drink alcohol while the RV is moving? That's what we're talking about today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me here. I know it sounds like a weird question, but it's one that comes up quite often in RV forums and message boards and we even get asked it, you know, in the spirit of answering what you guys want to know. It's a great topic to talk about. Let's get right to it. Can passengers drink alcohol in a moving RV? In no circumstance is it okay for the driver to drink alcohol. Let's just get that straight at, off the top. None of these scenarios makes it okay for the driver to drink while operating the RV. And because of this, most states don't permit alcohol to be present in the driver or passenger area of an RV. If a driver can reach it, the passenger shouldn't have it. That's basic across the board. But to answer the question more completely, we've got to consider the passenger's location in the RV, the length of the RV, and the laws of each individual state. Remember, we're talking about motorized RVs in this video, not towables. So we're talking about class A's, class B's, and class C's. We're not talking about travel trailers or fifth wheels. The fact is, in this country made up of 50 states, every state has its own unique laws, and that plays a huge role in the legality of this. And because these laws vary so much, you might just opt to not drink while uh, riding as a passenger in an RV, but it's not always against the law, and this is important to know. So the majority of states don't allow passengers in the front seat of a moving vehicle to consume alcohol. The driver should not be able to reach the container. However, it's important to check each state's laws. The magic number when it comes to RVs seems to be 21 feet. Louisiana and Florida permit passengers in the back of a moving RV to consume alcohol only if the motorhome is at least 21 feet. Now, most states have laws that prohibit the possession and consumption of open containers while driving a vehicle. Mississippi is the only state with no such law. And then there are six other states, Connecticut, Delaware, Missouri, Rhode Island, Tennessee, and Virginia that have laws prohibiting the driver from drinking alcohol, but not the passenger. In California, passengers in a house car or camper are exempt from prosecution unless minors are present in the vehicle. And we always recommend doing your due diligence and researching each state law as it pertains to your travels. As far as federal law is concerned, there are no federal laws regarding open containers in vehicles. Which brings up an interesting question though, if you're driving through a national park, which laws will apply? The state laws or the federal laws? I honestly have no clue what the answer is, but it just poses and exemplifies the challenges when it comes to alcohol in general in crossing state lines, especially in the case of an RV, because the RV is like our home, whether it's our temporary home or our permanent home. Crossing state lines can have big implications depending on what you're bringing with you. So is drinking alcohol while riding worth the risk? I have to admit, if you're stuck in a traffic jam on the freeway, in it looks like you're not going to be going anywhere for quite a while a quick google search couldn't hurt if you want to crack open ice cold beer or pour yourself a glass of wine you just might have to hop in the back and sit at the dinette rather than in the passenger seat depending on what the local state law is i wish i had a more clear answer for you but the answer of whether a passenger can drink alcohol while riding in an rv is maybe depends on the state Sounds like Mississippi are good to go, but in other states there might be some uh, nuances to what the rules are. Let me know if you've cracked one open while being a passenger in a moving RV. Uh, and tell me about your experience. Were you even concerned with the law or did you just hop in the back, sit on the couch, turn on the TV, crack open a cold one on travel day? Sounds like a pretty good way to travel in my opinion. But uh, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time.